Okay, currently on the alpha server, um, there's some pretty substantial changes that have been made to Hypixel Skyblock, and um, it's time to take a look at them. Not only changes, but new items as well. First of all, let's take a look at some new items. Uh, we have a new accessory here, the Magic 8-Ball. The base stats give you 25 Mining Fortune and 1 Mining Wisdom. Every Skyblock season, the Magic 8-Ball will grant you one of the following bonuses. One of them being Farming Fortune and Farming Wisdom. Another one being Foraging Fortune and Foraging Wisdom. Another one being Mining Fortune and Mining Wisdom, Fishing Speed, Fishing Wisdom, Strength and Combat Wisdom. Looks really, really cool. We also have Cirrus's personal phone number. Consume this item to get Cirrus as a Abbey phone contact. Players with Cirrus as a contact receive a 1% discount when buying items from the Dark Auction. Really, really cool. Also, taking a look at um, the Glacier Collection. At 1 million Glacier Collection, you will now unlock a um, an actual craftable recipe for a Glacier Golem pet. It does make sense considering you've had the Mithril Golem and now the Glacier Golem. Anyway, to craft this Golem, you're going to need a Super Enchanted Egg, no surprise there. 16 Glacier Amalgamations, a 4 Citrine, Onyx, Peridot, and also Acromine Gemstone. Seems pretty cool. Let's take a look at the stats. So at level 100, um, Legendary, it gives us 125 Mining Speed, 5 Cold Resistance, the Powder Powdered, which means that you gain plus 20% more Glacite Powder from most sources, Iceborne, which means we gain plus 100 Mining Fortune while in the Glacite Mineshafts, Frozen Perfection, gain plus 1 Pristine for every Frozen Corpse you've looted in the current Glacite Mineshaft. Pretty cool, seems like a really nice pet. There are a ton more changes, so let's get to them. But before we do, if you are planning on purchasing anything from the Hypixel store, make sure to use code NITROLES, it gets yourself 5% off. You should subscribe to the channel. If you watch the videos and you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so. You should join the Discord server, it's linked in the description of this video. We offer slayers and dungeon carries, so if you need carries or want to carry and make some coins, make sure to join. Well, the ball pet has undergone pretty substantial changes, and I know a lot of people aren't happy about this change. Um, let's take a look at it. Anyway, we, we have as always 25 strength, 10 ferocity, the rest is pretty much the same. Except from this one here, made of lava. Gain plus 3 pristine when inside the magma fields. Do you remember what this used to be? It used to be gain 15% on all stats when inside the magma fields. Something that made the battle ridiculously good. 3 pristine is decent, however I would definitely consider this as a nerf. You'll have to let me know what you think though in the comments. Now previously on the alpha there was a lot of content relating to the chocolate factory and hopperty, and it looks like there actually are going to be some new accessories here. Along with some new items. Looks like consumables to grant us um, permanent health and um, cocoa bean fortune, which makes sense. Here we have what looks to be an upgradable accessory that, of course, you can purchase with chocolate in the chocolate factory. This can be upgraded all the way to a legendary accessory and, of course, re um, recombobulated to mythic. That's really cool. There's more consumables from the Chocolate Factory 2. Dark Cocoa Truffle, looks like chocolate truffles, which are amazing. Giving us permanent fortune and fortune for 60 minutes. Looks like there's also an item that can be used at Cat to upgrade the Rabbit Pet to Mythic, which should be pretty cool too. Looks like we also have a new piece of equipment here, the Zoro's Cape, which is going to give us plus 10 strength, plus 2 ferocity, plus 10 farming fortune, and plus 1 farming wisdom. Doubled in the Jacob's Farming Contest and also giving us an extra chance to obtain an extra medal. This is a really interesting spreadsheet. I'll leave a link to it in the description. They did actually change a, a few collections around as well. Um, if we look in Umber, the Umber key now only requires 25k collection and the Umber plate 250k. It looks like they've also changed the Devan's pendant around, renaming it to the Pendant of Devan, which to be fair makes much more sense considering the armor is boots of Devan and chest plate of Devan. It, it is a lot cleaner. They also removed the second Jade Gemstone slot. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's that, that means you're getting lost mining speed. What I will say is, from what I've seen, this is a pretty substantial change to the game. Um, not just anything in particular, just everything put together. I've seen a lot of people that aren't happy at all about um, the Bal Pet, particularly Iron Man players, but I guess a lot of other players maybe not so happy either. And yeah, it's not really clear ex exactly why they decided to change the, the Bal Pet like they have. I guess it, it must be for some sort of balancing reason, because... Um, it's been like that for a long time now. But if they're going to change it, they're going to change it. Um, life goes on. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Um, what's Is there going to be new items though? Or is it... Do we even I know? don't know. Uh, click on click on Sirius with your Abbey phone. I want to see something happens. Uh, mm, I should have really... Out, uh, I'm literally outbidding everyone. I didn't, I, I didn't get the contest. I, didn't, I mean, sorry. I didn't get the, uh, the number, stupidly, from the free person. Oh my god. It's so crowded. I would, There's uh, Zach plays I end in here. Okay, I'm outbidding everyone. I'm Wait, I'm in a different. I'm in, I'm in the same one. I'm in a different dark auction to you. Oh, I 
I've got yeah. Zach plays Ayan in here, and a bunch of level 400. A couple, actually, there's like six or seven. I mean, eccentric painting, but ain't new, so they changed, crazy. They changed the entire new dark, like area of the dark ocean. Oh my god, nitrous! It's a double stair coming down. They made it symmetrical. Oh wait, yeah, so they did. No, crazy. No. Now I'm, I'm sensing a slight overpay here. Wait, hold on. Let me bid. No, please. Okay, cool. I can't. It, it is. It taps oh. No. Oh. Well, that, that's that's ah, that's a bit sad. Oh. This is boring. Can we please have some new items? Protection six. Yeah, I guess the contacts is the the only new thing really. So you see how you have one of whatever that number is. I have thirty. Yeah. Thousand. I, I don't know. I don't know what the number is. You know. Quadrillion, yeah, have... quintillion. Oh yeah, wait, it's the eight. Oh, wait, wait, we can bid on the eight ball. Yeah, the eight. Oh my god, this guy is making such an annoying sound. Please, my ears. Please. I need to mute your stream. Oh my god, it's so annoying. But you can bid on the eight ball. That makes sense. I don't know how much it's gonna go for, but I mean, obviously two two point one billion here. But who knows? So yeah, I guess in the end they changed the dark auction a little bit in terms of visuals, which I guess it did look nicer in there. And of course, this uh, magic eight ball is obtainable from the dark auction. Um, it does look pretty solid, so I assume that um, it's probably not going to be the cheapest, as with pretty much anything from the Dark Auction. Uh, stupidly, I, I didn't actually... Um, I didn't pick one of these up, uh, which means that I couldn't have actually talked to, uh, to Sirius, which was pretty, pretty idiotic. Um, anyway, now, um, there are a lot of other bug fixes and, and, and changes. Um, they've not entirely come to light yet. Now, there's, um, there's been changes to the Reaper Pepper as well. Um, now, uh, when you consume it, um, you don't just gain plus one health, you also gain plus one cold resistance, meaning that you could potentially have up to five cold resistance um, from five Reaper Peppers. I guess that's pretty cool, and it definitely um, it definitely plays into the new mining update. People are very unhappy about the changes to the Bal Pet, a new potentially very interesting pet in the Glacier Golem, and um, some pretty new items, accessories, pieces of equipment, and also the chocolate factory. There's actually quite a lot going on. It'd be interesting to know in the comments if you think this update or these changes are mostly positive and a good thing for the game, or um, are you maybe not too happy with them? Personally, for me, the, the Bal Pet is just not something that I really use, so it doesn't really affect me in, in that sense, but I, I know some people aren't happy. But anyway, that's all for today. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.